So over the last couple of years, we've had reasonably strong uh, developing economies, really very weak uh, economies in the advanced world. Perhaps the, the developing world, uh, the emerging markets, are not going to grow quite as quickly. We certainly see slower growth in China than the 7.5% to 8.5% we've seen for the last three years. We're looking at something more like 7 or 7 and shading down uh, to 6 as we get into 2016. Europe remains slow, but better than it has been by comparison to negative growth uh, in 2012-13. We're going to certainly see positive growth this year and that that will carry on, but relatively modest. Where the real change is going to come is going to be in the United States. As we look forward now through the next three years, we see the government, in particular the federal government, being much more balanced. They're going to still uh, be a degree of fiscal drag, but not nearly what we saw before. States, once again, are beginning to spend in the United States. Uh, and uh, consumer balance sheets are very much better than they were a couple of years ago. And so consumers are coming back. And so what we're looking for then in the United States, despite an extraordinarily weak first quarter, uh, we are looking for growth in the order of 2.5% this year, maybe getting much closer to 3.5% next year, and then settling in at something at 3 or a little less than 3 as we get through 2016. And that's really important because the United States is our biggest customer. And as we have a recovery in the United States, that's enormously important uh, for Canadian producers, whether we're producing automobiles uh, for the American consumer, whether we're producing lumber to build single family houses in the United States, or whether we're producing oil uh, or raw materials which we will sell in the United States. So one would think then with a really very much better performance in the United States over the next two and a half years or so, that that would, should reflect and produce very much better uh, performance here in Canada. Having said that, our view is that in fact, we're going to continue in Canada with growth in the order of 2% this year, next year, and the following year. Obviously, it'll bounce around a little bit, but, but actually very modest growth. And then the question is why?